Hi folks, Murray McCormick from the Regina Leader Post here. Just when we thought we'd get through Friday the 13th without any events, what happens? The riders go up by 12, we're all cruising along, we're thinking playoff berth, just with the BC Lions loss, and then boom, as quick as you can think of that in the CFL, the riders lost. I don't know about you, I'm still trying to figure out what happened. All of a sudden, the Red Blacks owned the field. They tilted the field in their favor, they had the fake punt that worked their way, Allison made the big catch. This great defense, which had been pretty stifling most of the game, just opened up and just allowed the Red Blacks to run through them. The offense ran the ball and couldn't run the ball when they really needed to run the ball, and that was a key. I think I was kind of anticipating they just give it to Trent Richardson and see if we could hammer, could hammer away and pound at that stuff, but that didn't happen. It just, this is the loss I didn't see coming. I didn't expect them to lose this way. They could have lost some other ways, but just... To be in control, to have, they dominated the time of possession. I think it was 38 to 12 minutes in the time of possession. They had six field goals. Now you convert, take half of those into touchdowns, we're not even talking about a loss. So they, they didn't finish drives, which is very reminiscent about what happened earlier in the season when they couldn't finish drives and you kind of think, but they're not that team anymore. And that's why I think this loss hurts. And I think there's a lot of people going to be questioning a lot of things, but I, I don't think it's hurt some that's going to hurt them going forward. I think they're going to be able to grab something from this Find some positives out of what Duran Carter did, uh, 11 receptions, 231 yards, a touchdown. Kevin Glenn was okay. I don't think he deserved to be yanked at all. I think he played well enough to keep on playing and kind of cool the controversy a little bit on quarterbacks, but we'll just see what happens. And It's just sometimes in the CFL, teams lose. And I think I'm going to try to go with this on Friday the 13th. The Riders lost a game they should have won in a red-black cat cross their path. So once again, we'll come back next week. The Riders have the uh, Calgary Stampeders next. It's going to be a tough game in Calgary. Always is, but hey, something's happening in football, and sometimes you just can't explain them.